And we are less than two hours away from the start of what may be the most anticipated presidential debate ever. I don't even know if we have to say may. I think it, it fairly is. Hillary Clinton versus Donald Trump, the first female presidential nominee of a major party going up against one of the most unconventional White House contenders in American history. We're back with a special edition of Out Front, live from the debate site here at Hofstra University, just outside New York City, which of course is the home base of both of the nominees. It is local for both of them tonight. Senator Bernie Sanders is the last person who debated Hillary Clinton, and he joins us now from Vermont. And Senator, thank you very much uh, for being with us. My pleasure. You know what it is like to stand on a debate stage with Hillary Clinton one-on-one. -on -one. What, uh, what, what do you say? What was the hardest part about debating her? Well, I think the hardest part is understanding that despite what the media may think, uh, this is not a, a night of entertainment. It's not a Super Bowl. It's not the World Series. Uh, tonight, the American people are going to be looking at somebody who will have enormous power in influencing the direction of our country, 320 million people, and the rest of the world. And I hope that we focus on the issues, the differences between the candidates. Uh, one candidate, for example, Donald Trump wants to give hundreds of billions of dollars in tax breaks to billionaires, the wealthiest people in this country. Uh, is that really a good policy for working families? Uh, Donald Trump does not believe that climate change is real. He, he thinks it's a hoax, despite what the entire scientific community says. Uh, is that a very good uh, approach uh, for the future of this planet and for the lives of our kids and our grandchildren. Uh, Donald Trump will appoint S another conservative, he said, to the Supreme Court, which means that Citizens United, the disastrous Supreme Court decisions that allow billionaires like Sheldon Adelson uh, and the Koch brothers to buy elections and undermine American democracy, that will continue. So Hillary Clinton wants to overturn Citizens United. So I think what we have to do is focus on the issues and not see tonight as an entertainment show. All right. Now, you did say recently, though, you had some criticism for Secretary Clinton on one thing, and perhaps it's related to what you're talking about now, Senator. You said she needs to, in your words, get away from all of this personality stuff and, in your words, start talking about real the real issues which actually sounds like what you were just saying there your, your frustration what did you mean well, when you said this personality more, stuff well that's what me that's i mean that's what media does they make this what kind of shoes will donald trump be wearing who is he huddling with right now how is his hair going right, to but look you have this criticism what of kind her of outfit will, this was a criticism of her no it's not a criticism it's a criticism of the media let's talk about which candidate is going to be better for working families now i no, in my state and all over this country. you got millions of people trying to make it a 9, 10, 11 bucks an hour. I think Hillary Clinton thinks we need to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. That's not Donald Trump's uh, position. I believe that as a nation, we have struggled for a long time to overcome bigotry and racism. Donald Trump is making the cornerstone of his campaign, in fact, bigotry, dividing us up, Latinos and blacks. Uh, and, and Muslims trying to divide our nation up. I don't think that that's good for the future of this country. So my hope is that we can focus tonight and in the future on the differences of opinions, very real differences between the two candidates. And when we do that, I think now, most people will perceive that Clinton is the superior candidate. As you know, though, Senator, you know, appearance and style matter a lot in a debate, right? It's not just the ideas. It's the art of it. No, uh, no, I don't know that. Not necessarily honestly, entertainment. Let but me just say this. Let me just say this, because I, in all due respect, I disagree with you. When I debated Clinton, it was a very interesting phenomenon. Most of the time, not all of the time, the media seemed to think that Clinton looked more presidential. And she, quote unquote, won the debate. But you know what? You go online... We did much better because people listened to what I had to say. So I do not agree that style and looks and how you comb your hair is what the important issue is. I believe okay, but, that it is what okay, the candidate but, thinks. I'm sorry. So let me ask you, though, on, on one thing. But I just want to ask you on one thing, because in terms of the style, Hillary Clinton obviously is the first woman to ever be on the stage like we're going to see tonight. And you obviously were debating her in that capacity as well. There was one time, as you remember, when you were talking about people shouting. And after that, she came back and said, uh, that's how people talk about women, but not about men. And there was another time when she was talking and you kept saying, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And we're interrupting her. And people interpreted that as sexist. Is that something you think could happen to Donald Trump tonight? I have no idea. 
I mean, I think, you know, I think what we look at is Hillary Clinton is a candidate for president of the United States. And I would hope that both, <clears throat> both of the candidates are respectful of each other. I don't believe that when I participated that I was rude. <coughs> Others may disagree. Uh, but, you know, I would hope that there is a thoughtful, intelligent debate on the real issues uh, facing uh, the families, the working families of America. And a final question to you in terms of your advice. What is your final piece of advice to her tonight going up against Donald Trump? I would simply say she doesn't need my advice. She, she does these things very well and has a lot of experience in them. I, I would, she understands that she's up against an entertainer. Uh, Donald Trump is an excellent entertainer. He's had successful TV shows, and that's his campaign. It's entertainment. I would say that in contrast, what she has got to do is focus on the real issues. Stay focused on the issues impacting the American people. How do we raise the minimum wage to a living wage? How do we get pay equity for women? How do we make colleges? She has a proposal that would provide free, public, free tuition at public colleges and universities for any family making less than $125,000. That's a big deal. Stay yeah. on message. Keep talking about what impacts the average American. All right, Senator Sanders, thank you very much for your time tonight. And next, Donald Trump's poll comeback. He has been rising in the polls, and the race for the White House tonight is now in a formal dead heat.